This year, Taiwan Alliance for Sustainable Supply Exhibition focused on the trends of energy and provided new solutions for the corporations. We Metal Industry Research and Development Center also participate in the exhibition and demonstrate our research finding in technology. Hi, I'm Bruce. I work for Metal Industry Intelligence at MIRDC. While most international giant corporations are targeting at net zero carbon emission in 2050, corporations try to develop through innovative technologies. Some countries, like United States of America, European Union, Japan, and Korea, have imposed a carbon border tax on products of higher carbon emission, for example, steel and aluminum. In addition to the budgeting for the development of regenerative energy, research and development of carbon reduction technologies, recycle and the reuse of resources, they also established the carbon pricing mechanism to create circular economy and the carbon reduction mode of business. To carry out the advocacy from the Department of Industrial Technology, Ministry of Economic Affairs, which aims at recycling and the reuse of aluminum over the years, and to improve the reuse of aluminum waste. The porous formation of aluminum recycle scrap and the process technology uses 100% recycled aluminum with the low pressure casting method to introduce porous cast aluminum core into the support of electronic vehicle modules to optimize the shockproof performance. According to the statistic survey of the International Aluminum Institute, the global aluminum industry generated approximately 1.1 billion tons of carbon in 2018. In the production process, the refining of oxidized aluminum with electrolyzed emitted the largest quantity of carbon. The carbon emission mostly came from electric power and heat. In supporting the carbon neutral objective of 2050, International Aluminum Institute suggested the aluminum industry to achieve the goal of carbon reduction by adopting decarbonization from the electric power, reducing direct emissions, and improving the efficiency of recycling and reuse in the future. In the part of recycling and the reuse efficiency, we also demonstrate our low-power aluminum rub sterling welding technology at this exhibition. It could help to improve the welding quality of recycled aluminum, which could improve the application of recycled aluminum at higher value. For the net zero strategy, we can see companies at the upstream usually use low carbon, zero carbon, or regenerated energies improve the performance of petrochemical fuels and smelting technologies, and also engage in carbon capture and storage to reduce direct emission. And for the companies at downstream, they usually focus on improving the aluminum waste, recycling rate, and the ratio of using recycled aluminum. Further to manufacturing sector in Taiwan, as to planning for the path of net zero, start with energy switching, process improvement, and the circular economy. And state-owned corporations will take the lead in the implementation. In addition, the center plan of the supply chain will be the pioneer to build up carbon inspection and carbon reduction capacity to encourage corporations from upstream to downstream to proceed with green purchase, green production, and others to collaborate in carbon reduction to create a green supply chain. In the future, 
the aluminum industry could be developed through the first one, energy switching use a higher proportion of green energy. The second, process improvement improve the efficient use of energy in the show realm. For example, energy efficient equipment, smart smelting technology. The third, development of low carbon smelting process in the long run. For example, blast furnace hydrogen injection, hydrogen reduction iron smelting. The fourth, circular economy, use a large quantity of scrap in the short round. In the long run, carry out carbon capture technology. And the last, recycling chemical from CO2 process with the petrochemical industry. In brief, corporations should invest in the technology and equipment for the net zero in materials and production process. In responding to the carbon border adjusted mechanism of the European Union, in the short run, conduct carbon emission inspection on all products incrementally. In the long run, introduce recycling of scrap, low carbon energy, zero carbon energy, smart smelting, smart manufacturing. Act now to mitigate the impact on product exporting to the European Union. We observe the domestic and international trends of the recycled aluminum market and the technology development, and focus on the recycled aluminum improvement of the application of regenerated aluminum-related innovative technologies at the Taiwan Alliance for Sustainable Supply Exhibition in this year. In the wake of worldwide net zero, we also continue to enhance its capacity in research and the development in full range development and work in collaboration with the aluminum industry of Taiwan.